ice cream was apparently invented by the Chinese. But for us here in America, it's probably our nation's favorite dessert. And for good reason. Ice cream can come in so many different flavors to please so many different tastes. One popular ice cream shop boasts about how many flavors they serve with their name. Yeah, I've had about 27 of those, by the way. But here in Orange County, where diversity is our middle name, there's one place you can go that serves ice cream the way they do down south, in old Mexico. Joining me now is Ben Garcia, owner of this delicious shop. And Ben, correct me if I get it wrong, is it, uh, well, I'll just... Ne Neveria La Flor de Mexico. There you go, fancy. And delicious. Thanks so much for having us in here today, Ben. I really appreciate it. Now, as soon as I walked in, I'm seeing lots of cool stuff. I mean, you have a wonderful shop, lots of delicious looking flavors of ice cream here. Did you hang out at a lot of ice cream parlors growing up? Uh, yes, when I was a little <laughs> kid, I used to go to uh, 31 Flavors. 31 Flavors, all right. So you took what they're doing, but you just went much further correct. with it. That is correct. Right, I can't wait to find out about it. How long have you been in business here in Stanton? I've been here a little over seven years. A little over seven years, okay. And what, what drew you to Stanton? What was the draw for you here? Well, the city of Stanton is very friendly when it comes to uh, helping, uh, assisting people to open uh, their businesses, small, small shops. You know, here, when it comes to my uh, shop, I can find uh, fresh uh, products at any local store. You know, you're driving down the street and you see this little uh, little farm where they uh, grow uh, strawberries. I stop by and buy my couple boxes of strawberries, come over here and start making my ice cream. Very nice, good point. Do, do you try and, and buy local? Is that something that's, you tend to try and gravitate towards? That's actually what I do, I buy local. Great, good for you. How did you get into this? I mean, this is kind of a unique thing. I mean, I, you know, there's you see ice cream shops around, but what was the draw for you? You know, I have some uh, relatives in Mexico who own ice cream parlors and uh, they, uh, talking to me about open, uh, bringing their product down to up to uh, the United States. And uh, eventually, you know, I didn't know nothing about ice cream. They started showing me how to make ice cream. I didn't know how to uh, put uh, flavors together. So uh, I, uh, I started doing it in my garage. One, uh, one day my neighbors started telling me that I had a really good product and they motivated me to open a, a ice cream parlor. Wow, so you were kind of like the mad scientist of ice cream, just kind of out there in your garage figuring it out. Right, as a matter of fact, um, whenever I get a, I have my hands on a fruit that is uh, unique, I try to uh, put something together to make it in an ice cream or an ice cream bar. Okay, interesting. Now, was that stuff you just kind of had to figure out, or was that something? Oh, no, no, I figured that out. Yeah, because that's kind of basics, right? Oh, yeah. That's that's ice cream 101? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, I mean, just from looking around, you have a lot of different stuff going on, but interesting names, interesting flavors. What sets you apart from all the other ice cream shops? Well, this is, uh, uh, you know, my, uh, this is a homemade, uh, homemade ice cream. You're not gonna be able to get this ice cream anywhere else. Plus also I have unique flavors, unique flavors that you, you probably won't be able to find anywhere else. Ben, tell me the difference between a Nieve type of ice cream versus just a regular traditional American ice cream that you would buy at a store. Uh, Nieve is a typical ice cream, Mexican ice cream, where it's, it's, it, it doesn't, uh, it's not made in a mass production. It's just made on a, on a small scale. And therefore, it has better uh, quality. I mean, that's the way I look at it. You know, when you, when you taste it, it's totally different. Right. Big benefit, people can just come right to your shop. They're not having to chase down a guy pushing a cart around town, right? I mean, it's, it, here it is. Easy access, right? That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. Actually, uh, the beauty of this place is that people knows me. They uh, they can come over when, when you, when you, uh, when you are trying to get an ice cream out of the, uh, somebody who's uh, pushing a little cart, they have maybe two, three flavors, five flavors. My customers know that they can come over here and I have over 50 flavors. Wow. So generally speaking, they can come over here and I have something for every taste out there. Right. Do the guys with the carts ever come over here just to try and diversify their no, flavors? But I see, but no, but I've seen, uh, I seen people from other uh, uh, ice cream parlors come over here and get my ice cream because my ice cream is better than theirs. There you go. So Ben, I've learned a little bit about the difference between Nieve and regular traditional ice cream. I would love to see all the magic in the kitchen. Would you mind showing me how you put this stuff together? And, well, you can and, go up in the back and I'll show you how to make ice cream. Let's do it, sounds great. The back kitchen is where all the magic happens. Fruit is prepped. Cream is whipped. And Ben's giant ice cream machine works its wonders with speed and efficiency.
you know, this seems to just stand true that uh, the, the most, the tastiest things a lot of times really are simple to make. You know, it's not this big factory process. It's just a few simple ingredients blended correctly and, and you get this wonderful product, right? That is correct. Yeah. And just for you viewers at home, Ben doesn't always let it, let people in to, to see the, the secrets, what's going on behind the, uh, the wizard's curtain. It's fun to watch you work too, Ben. It's it really it's like a mad scientist back here. <laughs> Tweaking the dials. Okay, it's ready to go into a machine. <clears throat> All right. Okay. We, uh, as you can see, we chop, uh, we clean some of the strawberries, okay. blend it, uh, put it with uh, ice cream milk, and uh, we are going to. Uh, we're going to put it into the machine for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Okay. So what, what we what we put in there is going to make that ice cream. Okay. So Excellent. now uh, in about 20 minutes we will have strawberry ice cream. That is good stuff. Now is that looking like what, right right in the sweet spot there? Yes. Fresh ice cream is so good. Man, what a huge difference. I mean, like just coming straight out of there versus coming straight out of the grocery store. Night and day, seriously. That looks great, Ben. It looks like strawberries and cream are on the menu today. So before I start trying these, what, what would you say is the most popular bar that your customers are always coming in asking for? Well, there's a lot of popular flavors, but I would probably go with the chili ones. Chili, okay. Yeah. Tamarind with chili. That sounds good. Yeah. Is that pretty spicy? It's not that spicy. I like spicy. I like spicy. Well, maybe we'll work up to it. Okay. Baby yeah, steps. That sounds awesome. All right. All right. Let's let's take a look. Is this one? Okay. What can you tell me about this? Um. Well, have you ever had like a Lucas candy? Yes. Yeah. It tastes pretty pretty much just like that, but we use a fresh tamarind. Nice. Yeah. Cheers. What do you think? That's funny, you said it tastes like one of the Lucas candies. You think so? It totally tastes like that. <laughs> yeah, we it get does. that a lot. It's just like a nice, cold, refreshing version of it. Version. What would you say is like one of your total like crazy flavors? I mean, just something that people would come in here and be like, what in the world is this? Um, I would probably say our prickly pear. It's a fruit that grows on a cactus. Wow. Yeah, people but usually. Not, like cactus? No, no, right? okay. no. So I'm not, I don't know if I'm that brave. <laughs> no, That's getting crazy. Be fine. I what kind of reactions do you guys get when people come in here and see prickly pear? Yeah, well, we call it tuna in Spanish, so they're like, oh, is that tuna? Okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's prickly pear. You know what? Just between us, I thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> the, was that? That was deliciousness. That wasn't like a. That was really good. Oh, man, this is great. I could totally eat all of these right now. All right, so let's get this come, come over here. Oh, okay. And this, this is what we were just whipping up in the back there a little bit ago, right? Yeah. Strawberry shortcake. It's a strawberry shortcake. I'm going to yeah. give it a try right now. What do you think? Nailed it. Yeah. It's, and you know what's funny is it totally tastes like strawberry shortcake too. Yeah. With the cookies in there like that added in, it's a nice little flavor. Do you eat this one very often? This seems like a Sunday it. afternoon. Yeah. Kind of hanging out. <laughs> Right, your home just kind of relaxing, kind of a feel good ice yeah. cream, right? Yeah, that's why. Mmm, fuego. Fuego. Mmm, <laughs> lovely. It is a little bit of a kind of like a Star Wars paradox. I feel like the dark side, yeah. but then, you know, like the, the force, the Jedi force is kind of coming through. Are you guys Star Wars fans or a little no. bit? No. Ben, thank you so much for letting us come into your shop today, teaching us about ice cream, but more importantly, letting me taste all this delicious ice cream. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you for stopping by. I uh, really appreciate it that you guys came over um, and see how I make my ice cream. And uh, I, ma I make all this ice cream with a lot of love for my customers.
I would be your worst employee, by the way. If you guys hired me to work here, I'm pretty sure at the end of the day you'd be firing me because I was eating Maybe. too much ice cream and not helping the customers. Too many samples. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. What else are we trying? 